what I brought back out to play. Now, I put out a video not too long ago, first mag, kind of like a fake first mag on the Wilson Combat, Bariga 92, Beretta. There's just too many damn words in this name. But uh, it was just too hot that day. We were supposed to do a first mag on this gun. And I was just like, you know what? It's not happening. It's just too hot. Now, it's slightly, ever so slightly less hot today. And um, so I brought it back out. So if you haven't watched the truck version of this first mag, make sure you go do that. But now we're gonna do a real one. So let's jump into it. Ooh. All right. Wilson Combat Beretta 92 Brigadier. Freaking love this gun. I'm not a fan of the 92. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but it just is what it is. I've never really been the biggest fan of the, the 92. Um, I liked the way it looked, but something about it, like the visual ergonomics of the gun didn't look appealing to me, but the general aesthetic of the gun looked appealing to me. It's a good looking gun. I just, even now holding it, <laughs> it just doesn't feel that natural. Now it points great. It points phenomenally, but it this flippiness when I shoot drives me insane. And that's on this gun. And I like this gun a lot. Actually, I love it. A lot of the biggest drive behind me in this firearm and why I love it so much is the way it looks. I think the gun is beautiful. I, I love what Wilson did with it aesthetically, as far as the grip, as far as the finish of the gun. It's generally still 92 Brigadier with some very subtle changes. By the way, this is not a safety. This is just a decocker, as you can see here. Um, just decocks, turn back, decocks it. And I remember seeing this gun and thinking, damn, that is a good looking gun. And I thought to myself, I need to get it. I don't have a Beretta. I think if you're, if you're going to call yourself a gun collector of any sorts, you have to have a Beretta 92 in your collection. You just do, whether you like the gun or you don't. You got to have it in your collection. If you're not, you're doing gun collecting wrong. Let me see if I can hit this right here. So now it's a double action single. So of course you get this long first trigger pull, but the beautiful thing about it is this trigger pull is so smooth. So smooth. I mean, look at it. Just watch it. Just watch it. No stacking. It's just smooth. It's like butter, baby. That's literally what it feels like. Taking a knife, not a hot knife, but a cold knife, and just sticking it in butter. That's the kind of smooth it is. It's just smooth. Smooth. I love it. And then in single action, it's even better. Single action, it's just... Like, whew, I love it. Ah, oh, this single action trigger is just, look at this. Look, it's just wall, 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 wall. Then you shoot it. God damn it, I'm out of bullets. And then shoot it, wall. And then wait, wait for it. Oh, oh, oh I love this trigger. Oh, and visually, there's a lot going on with this gun. Uh, it's just a lot, and I like it. It's like a visual amusement park. However, aesthetically, I mean, however, ergonomically, I'm just not the biggest fan of the 92. I don't care what you do to it. But this is still one of my favorite, favorite guns, surely because of how smooth it is. Like, even the action is just, I don't know if I can visually show you how smooth the action is on this thing, but... The slide just glides back and forth. Ugh! Man, it just, it feels good, but then it doesn't. I know this video makes no sense because you're like, well, you keep talking about how smooth it feels, but then you keep talking about how non-ergonomic it is. It doesn't feel bad. It just, I don't like, first of all, I don't, the, the gun sits too high in my hand. This long, this flippiness, I don't like flippiness. For people who don't care about flippiness, you know, for them, it's not that big of a deal. For me, I, uh, 
and the sights. Let's talk about these sights. Honestly, I don't even know what these sights are. What are these? I have no idea. They look like Trigicon. Nonetheless, if you look at this rear notch, and then so you have a blacked out rear with a tritium, not even tritium, it's a night sights front circle. You take the notch, put the circle in the notch, you're good to go. For whatever reason, my eyes pick this up super fast. <laughs> so apparently this gun does not like me riding the slide, which I tend to do. So. But honestly, I probably never actually, like I wouldn't carry it. If I had to go into battle, I wouldn't take it with me. Um, I think it's the gun that's just, at this point, I think the, I think the Beretta 9-2 is a collector's gun. I think in its time, it did what it had to do and it did it well. I just think now, I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it lives up to the modern expectations of what you want in a gun now. And I generally kind of feel the same way about 1911s. And I love 1911s as range toys. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. But this is the same way. This gun coming out here, shooting it on the range. Like, I love it. It's so enjoyable. But it doesn't, it doesn't fit a role for me. Like, what am I gonna do with this? I'm not gonna carry it, it's too big. I mean, we're only talking about 15 rounds here. I mean, hell, I'm on my last round now. And is a sidearm open carry? Nah, not enough capacity to justify the weight. I'd rather get a 19, I'd rather get a 19X, 17, 18, 19 rounds, throw that in there and call it a day. But on the range out here, this gun is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate from people like, I carried this gun for 20 years. I mean, I'm pretty sure you did but this just wouldn't be my go-to. I'm not saying it can't be somebody else's, it's just not mine. But I love the way it looks. I love the way it shoots. I love the way it feels in terms of the tracking of how, how the slide tracks. Like the way the slide tracks, is just, it's just beautiful. It's just smooth and this gun is dry. I haven't looped this gun at all. It's just not a gun for me pragmatically from a practical standpoint that I'm just gonna go to. I'm just not. I love it. But out here, concealed carry, nah. Outside of the waistband, nah. I think it would make for a great barbecue gun, if that's your thing. Break yourself! Give me your goddamn number. Come on, hurry up. Come on. I love it, but I have no use for it, other than being out here. And to be honest with you, that's kind of all the use I need. Wilson Combat Beretta Brigadier 92. Oh man, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this video. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice, and let them know you wanna keep America tactical, because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.